Hey divas, it's Casey Couture. How are you divas doing? I hope you divas are fantastic. So today's video is going to be a really quick video about products I regret buying from Lush. I only have three to show you, but I never return these products. I don't know why. Don't ask me why. They expired a long time ago and I just, I've never wanted to use them. I've never had any reason to use them and I didn't want to give them to anyone else just because I didn't think they were that great and I really hated them so why give away a product that you don't like yourself it just doesn't make sense so I'm gonna show you guys what I have here and no offense to anyone who really loves these products because you know to each his own I just don't like these at all alright divas so the first product I have here is a product called Tramp and I absolutely dislike this product 100% so basically what it is, is a shower gel and it's very masculine and earthy and it has a lot of mossy notes and really deep dark notes to it. I'll show you guys what the bottle looks like. So the product itself is described as intensely soothing gel with Melissa and Whorehound infusion for your body and scalp with earthy, sexy, mossy fragrance for urban and forest dwellers alike. Lather all over the body and hair and then rinse off. So Divas, one of the reasons I basically really dislike Tramp Shower Gel is when I lathered it on myself, I just felt enveloped in like a deep swamp and it's too dusky and darky and way too masculine for me. If you guys know me personally, you know that I'm in love with florals and I'm in love with fruity fragrances and this just doesn't cut it. It left my skin feeling very, very dark and intense and enveloped with deep fragrance and I'm just not someone that's into that. I'm a diva. I like to work those fragrances like nobody's business, those floral fragrances like nobody's business and this is just way too deep and dark for me. So the next product I have here is a product called Celestial. It just looks like this. So basically what Celestial is described as is, at last, a vanilla almond and dove orchid moisturizer for sensitive skin. Use this to soften and calm easily irritated face and protect city skin against pollution. So Divas, one of the reasons I really dislike the Celestial Moisturizer is I find it's very heavy on the face and it does not absorb well. I like a moisturizer that absorbs and sinks into the skin almost immediately and this is not it. This sits on top of the skin and I feel like it does not budge. So this is definitely not a favorite of mine and it's not a product that I would buy again. So Divas, the last product that I regret buying is a product called Lemony Flutter. It looks just like this. So what Lemony Flutter is described to do is repair dry cuticles, dry elbows, toes, and heels. So if you divas know, last month my nails were completely busted, so I was really looking for a formula for my nails that could work really well at repairing the damage and helping my cuticles out that were completely busted. So I was looking for a product, and I love Lush's products generally. They're natural and they're very nourishing generally, and I absolutely love them. So I thought, why not try out a product that I'm probably going to fall in love with, and I just didn't fall in love with this one. This butter in particular, I felt like it just didn't sink into my cuticles at all. I felt like it sat on top of them. And I've noticed with a lot of Lush moisturizers and things that are supposed to be moisturizing and nourishing from Lush that a lot of them actually sit on top of the skin, which is something that I just don't like about some of their products. Just, they don't absorb well. So this one just didn't absorb into the cuticles very well for me. and. It might have helped nourish them a little bit, but I just didn't see the results that I was looking for, so it's a product that I regret buying as well. So Divas, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, and no offense to anyone who loves those Lush products, they just didn't work very well for me personally. I know I have different skin type than some other people. Everyone's different, and different products work different on different skin types. So these ones just weren't my favorite, and I hope I didn't offend anyone in this video. If you guys loved it, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you Divas later. Bye for now.